Today you will learn how you can create this really cool mist effect in a forest or wherever you want to put it really easily in Photoshop, so let's start. Hey guys, it's Neymanya and welcome to another really fun Photoshop tutorial. You already know what we will do today, so let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. Right guys, we are here in Photoshop and this is the photo that we will work on today. It's a really simple way to create this kind of mist. This is more milky type of mist. We will create a little bit different, but we will do it on this photo and we will put some mystical creature, some entity that is actually making the shape from that mist, etc. The idea for, for this photo uh, I got from one really cool TV series here in Serbia. It's called Professor Mishkovic's Notebook. It's amazing story. It's made by the book and the book is amazing too. So if you're from Serbia, check out the series. Uh, Beležnica Profesora Miškovića and uh, this is where I got inspiration for showing you this effect. Okay, so to start I have the background, I have this bush a folder where I just have two bushes here. So how to put them, it's really simple and easy, I will show you that a bit later. Actually, let me show you now. Here is the photo of a tree. So I use this photo of a tree, put it right there, paste it and make it much much bigger, like like this bigger. Okay, something like this. I maybe made it smaller, like that. Put it here. And then I just blur it. I went to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and blur it a little bit. For example, like that. And then I used hue and saturation adjustment layers. Clip it to affect only that and just add a little bit of saturation and just match the colors to, to the background a little bit like this and maybe make let's saturate a little bit darker and and this is it really simple and easy I just made a copy of everything by holding alter option key put that right there and here I have another one and this is how I, I how I did that it's just to put some foreground elements nothing special so this is how it looks okay by a little bit moving tweaking and so on and so forth okay so let me show you how to create this really cool mist effect like this and Add that creature, etc. Okay, first thing that I will do, I will go and grab this silhouette. You can find any kind of silhouette online. I downloaded this from pixabay.com, so go and find anything that you need and want. I will just paste it right, right here, invert it, Control or Command I, because I want white, not black. And this is something approximately that I need. Maybe I will make it smaller, Control or Command T, and just make it smaller, like like this. I will see later about the size actually, but this is pretty cool. And now let's create a mist. This is this is uh, woman, and this is mist. Okay, to create a mist, I will just use my custom-made smoke cloud dust brush that I show you how to create in a long time ago in video over here. You can check it out, or you can download or purchase this set of brushes from my website. The link is down there in the description for just. One dollar, so it's up to you. I will use this one, the first one, the cloud dust number two, actually, and I will choose white color, but not all the way white. Maybe, maybe something like this, or maybe a little bit more white. Let's experiment. And also, I will go with the opacity of eighty percent, so something like that. Make it bigger, and then maybe a little bit smaller brush, and just see. I'm just creating this really cool mist effect right there so you can see how simple and easy we can make really cool mist here and also i will turn this silhouette into a little bit darker color so i will go right here control click to select it and i will change to the same color uh, that i use uh, for the mist so alt and backspace and this is it and now i will go right here to the mist and just just paint the mist a little bit here and there. Okay, now the point here is just to paint and if you want to erase it, create a layer mask, use a black color, same brush and maybe 20% opacity and just erase the mist from certain parts. If you want to have like more like a milky type of a mist, you can go and just blur it. Go to filter, blur, either Gaussian blur and just play with it so you can see it's similar like a background mist, so like that. Or you can even try, it's strange, but you can try motion blur. So here, 
maybe left and right and create this kind of effect maybe like there's a wind or I don't know some kind of a swamp and a lot of winds depends on the situation but I encourage you to experiment with this okay now I'll fast forward this and just uh, try to paint the mist how I like it and I will come back really soon also what we can do we can add another mist layer so this is mist number two and we can play around with adding even more details etc whatever you think it's best for for this kind of effect so maybe i will do one more thing i will go to the woman add a layer mask and just with regular soft round brush i will go and uh, just erase a little bit just to make her a bit transparent okay just a little bit here and there let's see and now what I can do I can leave it like this but also I can go and create a layer like mist behind a woman mist number three and I can go with my smoke dust cloud brush and just paint here like like a little bit of the mist behind her to fill that gap with this kind of random shape maybe a little bit of the black color see a little bit and a little bit of the white so this is an option you don't need to do it for me it's okay let's see this layer mask maybe maybe I want to add oops on the mask so yeah like this maybe I want to bring back some parts here we will see so for now this is pretty okay I'm pretty happy again as I already said you can blur this and have a little bit more milky type of mist whatever you want I will leave it like this for now but what bothers me is this plant right here mm, I don't like it because it seems too big and a little bit distracting so I will just quickly remove that as for stamp clone stamp I will go to clone stamp tool and just clone from here like that and also here let's just hide everything because it's much easier to see what we are doing and maybe from oops maybe from here to here and now let's see yeah it's much better so it's not so distracting maybe a little bit of the mist right there and that's pretty cool maybe a little bit less oops maybe a little bit less here on the tree and I really like it okay now I can bring my bushes here but they need to be above everything so this is really cool and it's already really nice effect what I want to do even uh, more to make it even more interesting to add a, like a magical circle here behind uh, everything so I will go here this is like a magic ring okay let's let's no let's let's leave it like that i will go to elliptical marquee tool press and hold shift and create a ring a little bit bigger maybe like this and i will fill it with the same color right here alt and backspace okay and then i will go to i will go to fill, uh, select modify contract and let's try 15 pixels mm, seems okay delete inside yeah I have really nice magical circle but I want to make impression that actually some part of this uh, magic ring is going behind the branches behind the leaves so this is really easy fix what we will do I will make two of these rings so just control or command J to make a copy go with down uh, the, the lower one double tap and just go right here go to blend if and what I like to do I like to move this if you don't know how to use a blend if I will not explain right now what these sliders are for I have a full uh, tutorial dedicated on that on link right there check it out it's amazing tool so you need to know this but you can see it's really uh, leave the impression that actually this is going behind leaves and everything I will press ok and I have a second one here just because I want to fill these gaps right there so for the second one 
I will go with Alt or Option and click on Layer Mask to load Black Layer Mask and with regular soft round brush or even hard round brush I will bring back these details right there and let's see I want this to go maybe until this branch here and here is pretty much okay and also I want to make impression that he's going behind this rock at least so I will go right there create a layer mask and erase this all the way to the end of the rock so this is cool and this one can go in front of this rock or if we delete it let's just see we need to delete it on both layers if we delete it like this what we will get is it better like that or hmm. it's totally up to your preference I will leave it like that I will again double click on the first one go to outer glow and just let's see just made a little bit of the glow there like that and I will do exactly the same for the second one so our glow and this is really cool mm, let's see yeah what we can do actually is go to this one yeah here and just erase this portion here because there is a double glow going on there but now it's pretty cool also here we can we can add a glow manually if we want let me show you that so this these two I will group control command G this is ring and I will go inside here create a new layer glow and just put it into linear dodge blending mode go with a little bit darker tone like this and I need soft round brush like that and as you can see here I'm adding even more of that glow also we can add the same glow to everything here so I can go all the way up glow again into linear dodge blending mode and maybe add a little bit here to this mystical entity maybe a little bit somewhere on the mist as you can see also we can change the glow color let me show you that really quickly so maybe we want something like like this and then we can add something like see this looks also cool yeah, and as I already said it's completely up to you and your own preference so however you want to make it you can do it also I can change the brush so I can use this brush for that just add some regularity to the shape of the glow and also I can add a layer mask and play with this for <laughs> for a little bit of the time but I don't want to waste your time so this is with with this type of glow without the glow if you want to change the glow to just white I can go to human saturation adjustment layer clip it to affect the glow and just move the saturation all the way down so, wow wow also I can change the glow color as you can see it's really simple and easy you can do limitless things but I want to go with like white type of a glow and this is pretty much it you can add as many elements as you want the point here is to learn how you can like this create a mist effect in the forest you can make dense or or less dense mist however you want I can now group everything control uh, shift alt E or command shift option E on a Mac go to filter camera filter and just do a final color grading and that's it let me show you that really quickly so here maybe I will add a little bit of the contrast open the shadows a bit also maybe add everything to the cool side and I can play with some colors I can go all the way down actually to calibration and move these tones as you can see I can I can change completely tones but maybe something like this lower the situation of, of this maybe actually maybe like like that mm -hmm. yeah maybe something like that it's completely up to 
your taste and your preference. Maybe add even more haze to everything if you want. A little bit more blacks. Lower the saturation maybe. Whatever, it's completely up to you. This is before one feel of the image. This is a little bit colder, cooler feel of the image. Whatever you want. Maybe I will change it a little bit. Now this huge octopus is actually uh, not helping me to see the colors really good here. So I will leave that for later. But let's say OK, just for, for a test. And here it is. So this is like a final image before and after. You can leave it however you want. And that's it, guys. If you have any kind of questions regarding to this episode, please leave me down there in the comment section below. And I will be glad to answer it. Again, download my set of brushes from my website for just $1 if you want to have them or make your own watching my video about that. And have fun experiment and see you next week in next fun episode. Bye bye.